It's the mountain early. It's uh, eight o'clock. The mountain doesn't open for another 20 minutes. We even had time to get breakfast, which never happens on the way to the mountain. Breakfast, shred. Ern is supposed to meet me here. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at today. Or this morning. Anyhow, it's seven degrees right now. Give me a cold one. As suspected, it was a fucking freezing day on the mountain. My ass is as cold as it can get. It feels like there's ice in my pants. I met Ern for like two runs, cruised through the park, hit everything in the park one time, and we're leaving. Got no footage because it's so cold, literally. So, quick morning. You'll just have to take my word for it. Back down the mountain. Back home. Back home on the rain. All right. So today is Friday and this morning was tumultuous in the ski area. So there's a lot of weird stuff going on and there's some things that I haven't talked about that I said I would talk about. Some things I've talked about over and over and still people ask me every day, like what I think about the Beyonce Ultra Boost. It's a Beyonce Ultra Boost, that's what I think. I think that it's ridiculous that Adidas cannot or will not release colorways in a normal fashion that don't suck balls. It doesn't make any fucking sense to me. If it, the ability to produce <coughs> good solid colorways <laughs> And the shoe that people want is there. Why not do it without attaching Beyonce or whoever's name to whatever? We wouldn't have to have these dilemmas. You know what I mean? Be like, yo, boom. I want that color because it's it's nice. You know? Personally, don't want to wear Beyonce gear. Uh, speaking of boost, these insoles that I was supposed to try, the Hefe Lux. I did try them. They're in my 500s, which are almost beat to shit. And I really got to get rid of. I can't. I just, you know. Gotta keep it. The shoe collection is down. I have two pairs of Ultra. I've been wearing the Arizona State Ultra Boost, which I still need to get bronze. I've been wearing these Kith Hiker whatevers. I don't know what they're called. I can never remember. Trail Blazer? Trail Hiker? I don't know. Um, those things from like the first Columbia drop, Aspen drop. Uh, I could get them for you, but I don't know where the fuck everything is. Um, what else have I been wearing? Which makes me feel like I need a three pairs of shoes is plenty. Like, it's plenty. Unless you need some dress shoes. You know, if you're a dressy type, maybe you need dress shoes. But anyway, these Boost insoles, they're okay. I, you know, like, I, I can't really endorse any kind of product or whatever, you know, because my heart isn't in it, you know. But uh, I don't necessarily love the arc support thing. It's not my favorite. Kind of smooshes down after a while. Is this like putting on an Ultra Boost? Uh, absolutely not. Is it... Better than having no insole in a shoe without boost? Absolutely, absolutely yes. So yeah, there's, uh, you know, there's pros to it, but it's not like boost. Like if you think that this is just gonna make your shoe like an ultra boost, it, you, you know, you're tripping. An okay cushioning system insert for a shoe that is maybe super uncomfortable. I imagine if you wore these with Jordan 1, it would make, because the Yeezy 500 is actually pretty, pretty comfortable. But uh, Mamma Jamma right here, I didn't even get to use because really one thing about these insoles is you need one, a shoe that you can take an insole out of and two, room enough for something this large, you know? You really almost, I feel like with this one, need to size up. They were sent from this other place of Matic. I, I gotta be honest, Ugh. these are the ones you gotta cut out, right? Yeah, these you gotta cut and I have not taken the time to cut them. So I, I really can't say, but you know, I hate to, I hate to, you know, I'm not endorsing either product. So um, they don't look like they're the same exact boost material. It's crazy. These are kind of the similar, same product competitor. I don't really know. I just, these you have to cut out. I have to take my insole and trace it and cut it. And I just haven't, like I've been so busy, I haven't tried to do that. Boost insoles, they're okay. You know, nothing, nothing is like the real thing. Um, unfortunately, and fortunately, whatever, who gives a fuck. Uh, most of them these days are pretty boring. So we have other things, better things to care about. Another thing that people are just all over me about is the, uh, which, you know, there's a couple things. 
Apple, drop him the happy cry emoji. Casey Musgraves, think she's a country singer, also uses the smiley face with the teardrop. Let me clarify, because I think there's some confusion. I don't think I came up with, you know, like, well, I did. I, I definitely came up with it on my own. I thought this would be a good brand, happy cry. It's a relatable human emotion, which is why you see it as an emoji, which is why you see someone like Casey Musgraves, country singer, use it and play on the happy and sad at the same time. Did she steal it from me? I don't have any idea. Is it possible? Sure. It's absolutely, it's absolutely possible that some weirdo who worked for her scrolls through Instagram and steals shit and blah, blah, blah. Is it something that I can do anything about? Most likely not. You know, <laughs> I mean, really, there's really not much you can do about it. And you know, the guy who invented the smiley face, inventing it, Harvey Ball, did not trademark it. It's just because it's, it's a free expression type thing. Some of the stuff that I've been working on doing also showed up in other avenues. I don't really know what to think about that. I would be completely egotistical to just think that everyone in the world is copying me. I know some people out there think that I think that, but that's because they don't know how to read tone on text. And I know it's hard, but you should probably just give me the benefit of the doubt and not think that I came up. The emotion even of being happy and sad simultaneously. Graphics are these always repeating things and like themes and things like that. So it's really not about what it is, it's about what you can do with it. As far as my output goes and the brand Happy Cry, uh, we are leaps and bounds beyond what anything Casey Musgraves is doing or is ever going to do in the realm of design. I'm sorry, no disrespect Casey. If you wanna to work together, call me. I'm not worried about it. You know, we just, art, you just keep it moving. You keep creating. I'm never satisfied anyway, so it's all just nothing to worry about. You know, it is what it is. We got an emoji, you know what I'm saying? Unofficial emoji. I am gonna drop that Apple shirt though. And if they try to come after me, I feel like I should just be able to be like, hey, I was here first. I was here first. <sighs> There's other stuff, but I can't even remember what it all is. I have a new painting to work on. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. So that's, that's coming up. There is a drop Sunday with the Supreme premium salary and the rumors and rules Spirit of Ecstasy, restock, Sunday at 11 a.m. Mountain Time, OatsTeddy.com. Chicago is in like five fucking days, which is crazy. That's coming up really fast. And then, I don't know, man, like today is actually pretty chill. I need to draw. I'm always, you know, for me, I'm constantly drawing. I'm doing something out here, some sort of magic. I'm about to make some tacos and I'm about to use cheese as my shells. I feel like on the vlog we've done the cheese shells before, but I do it a different method now, now that I have this cast iron skillet that I adore and I love. It's not as good as my grill, for anyone wondering. That grill outside is unreal. Cast iron skillet, I can't do the same. I cannot, I wish I could, but I can't. You might just be more talented than me if you can, which is totally fine. But this cheese taco shells is really fucking easy. You turn on, your cast iron skillet, or probably any non-stick skillet, and then you put a ball of cheese, and you make it round and flat. I like cheddar. All you, I mean, it's really, well, let's turn this on. I'll just show it to you. We can't do that yet, because we need to do our beef. Let me ground up this beef, then I'll show you the cheese. Special, special tool. All right, the cheese is gonna get brown around those edges. You kind of might want to move your thing around, your pan around a little bit, but you want to get those edges brown so you can start lifting it up. You got yourself a taco shell, son. Get yourself a plate. Meat, buy close by, need a drink so you stay hydrated. All right, we got a little browning right there, a little bit. The longer that you let it sit there, the uh, crispier it will be. It doesn't really need, it's a cast iron skillet, so it, it doesn't, it has fat in it, it shouldn't stick. If it's sticking, it's not done. Just let it do its thing. It doesn't take that long, especially once you get rolling, son. You can get like fucking 10 of these knocked out in no time. I mean, I'm not gonna make 10 of them, but I could if I needed to. I could eat 10 of them too, probably. Crispy edges, not gonna be so easy to do with a camera in my hand. All right, camera's gotta go. I like to lift up one side, let it get a little air under it. It's a little easier to move. Slide that shit up on there. Transfer, blam. Taco meat. I usually do this much faster. You want the shell not to get hard yet, and then flip it over. Boom, cheese, taco shell, just like that. Let it sit, it'll get hard, like a shell. It's Saturday, I have a little business meeting with a local restaurant that 
needs a new graphic. And the dude who owns it, or son of the people who own it, they hit me up and they want to meet with me about doing a new graphic. So I'm going to make that trip and I also have to go by the storage unit, get some of my tattoo equipment, set up this room. Alex wants to get tattooed tomorrow. I want to use my new machine. We're going to do that. And then something else is going I can't remember. Oh, dispensary for sure. Okay, so. Hello. It's been a couple of days since I picked this camera up. The weekend happened, um, or I think, or Sunday happened. I don't really know. The last couple of days are kind of blurry. I've been really busy, moderately stressed out with uh, things that really have no bearing <laughs> here. Anyway, uh, Alex fell off a horse, broke her finger, we think, and smacked her head on the ground, which is like the 50th time she smacked her head on things. So we had that to deal with yesterday. Um, yeah, the weather is back and forth. Yesterday was 70 degrees. Today, full on snow. So, supposed to snow all day today. Probably even tomorrow too. And then we go to Chicago on Wednesday. Ern thinks we're gonna try and go snowboarding tomorrow, but I have a feeling the driving weather is not gonna be. Anyway, Ern's coming over to do a podcast. I spent yesterday, most of yesterday, setting up a little tattoo area. Tattoo sterily. And then, oh, that Supreme thing needs to go. I gotta sell that. I don't need that thing. That's yeah. And I haven't made it to the art studio to do this painting I want to do. All right, I'm going to be here in a minute. We just finished the podcast. Omar is playing with his ball. Oh, tripping over shit. Alex brought uh, Sharpies because I got to draw a snake on her arm. She's going to get her arm done. Throw it with a snake. I never tattoo her. I pretty much always say no. This time I said yes. Well, that uh, tattoo setup did not get used. Alex bumped her goddamn head. She fell off the horse. She thought she, we had planned to tattoo her before she fell off the horse. She came home, not making much sense, so she didn't get tattooed. We have all this snow. It's just been, you know, the last couple days have just kind of been stupid, but snow like crazy. I leave tomorrow, so there's I can't do anything. I had this big ass painting I wanted to start and finish before I left, and I didn't even start it. I did go and get a bunch of my paintings, really all of my paintings from Think Tank. A bunch are in the garage that are framed. A bunch of them are here too. This is Baku and Snake back piece. I don't even remember painting so much until I saw it. I was like, oh yeah, fuckload of paintings in here. I don't even know. From the past. But of that. All the signature. Look at that. See? But anyway, today's pretty mellow. I just gotta pack regular shit. Let's see your finger. Nice. Do you wanna see it without its cast on? So you, you can see it. the beautiful colors? You don't have to. Where's the crack in your head? Crack in my head? Yeah. Can't see it. Oh, it's on the inside. I fell right here though, and it broke my glasses. I can show you my broken glasses. Broken glasses everywhere. Horses. My arm is in my oh. somewhere. I broke a pair of glasses the other day too by accident. Mm. I don't even know how. Maybe it was like an omen. Yeah, you could be faking, faking it for YouTube. Your concuse, contus, contus. Can't really see the colors. I don't know. It's hard to see in pictures. But you purple. can see how big it is. You can see how crooked it is. You move it too much. Yeah, it's definitely crooked. It's definitely crooked. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, the colors, yes. <laughs> it matches yeah. my sweater. It does. Good job. My neck here is so sore, it's so hard to pick up my neck. Pity party for me. Mm -hmm. 